What's going, going on, on Humble Pamps? So we are a day away from our gender reveal. We find out what baby number two is tomorrow. Finally. Finally. The anticipation has been a very long wait and we are not doing this ourselves again if it was to happen again. Potentially. <laughs> but with that being said, we get to find out what baby number two is and we can't wait. We're so excited. So we'll be doing Old Wives Tale. And I actually peeped this for like a second before we started the video. There's a few things I'm kind of confused about what they're even asking on oh this. Goodness. And then there's one I take very offense to. <laughs> so when we... <laughs> I, I think I know which one that is. So when we get to it, y'all know. So I'm just saying. Yes. So we have mom and dad's intuition. So what we think baby is. How I'm carrying baby. My skin, body temperature, baby's heart rate, my cravings, morning sickness. Dad's weight, which is what he finds <laughs> offensive. I mean, who's not gonna take offense to that? <laughs> she fat shames me all the time. Listen, dads have a lot to do with babies, okay? Yeah, we put them in you. <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about. Dads go through the sickness, the fatigueness, oh, the yeah. whole shenanigans. Mm -hmm. so. Both, so this pregnancy, I feel like, was worse, worse. than the first pregnancy yeah. for me. <laughs> Because when she's nauseous, I'm nauseous. When she's having her issues, I'm having the same issues. And then I'm trying to help her out while I was dealing with my own issues too. It's, it's just a, a mess. It's a lot. Uh, swollen legs or ankles. Clumsiness, headaches, mood, heartburn, and the baby bump shape. So you can do the honors. Okay. Are we circling them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? Cross them out? I don't know. No, I feel like that's, that's kind of rude. Okay. So our intuition. What do we think baby is this um, time? That, that's easy. Okay. Hands down. Hands We're, down. I think it's a girl. I think it's a girl. We're, that was a given because we both are... Okay, don't judge my circles. Oh my god, just... Okay. Okay. Just don't overlap the other words. I'm off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> baby girl's looking like a bean. Comment down below how Dave's circles are doing. We already first predicted that our first baby was going to be a boy, which he was. Mm -hmm. And we're predicting this baby's going to be a girl. Because me and Shannon always talks about it all the time that we say we always wanted a boy first. And we, then we always want a girl second for like a bunch of reasons. We'll get into it in another video. But we, our, our predictions were pretty right for the most part. Our intuitions were always telling us from the start that it was a boy. And now everything is telling us it's a girl. It's so funny because when I was pregnant with Seiji, our first baby, I knew well, it's not right our away. Second baby. Our first baby. He's our only baby. <laughs> our big baby. <laughs> <laughs> I knew right away he was a boy and up to my gender reveal, like the week of my gender reveal, I was like, you know what, <laughs> I don't want to be disappointed, so let me think it's a girl, right? So like the so whole- So you mean to tell me you're going to be disappointed if it was a girl? No, we, you know how, babe, <laughs> you know what our story was. Baby number two, you hear that? Just say- <laughs> Stop. So I always wanted a boy first. So. But that being said, for our gender reveal, the week of our gender reveal, that whole week, like, I'm trying to put in my brain that baby might be a girl, just so I can, you know... <laughs> prep yourself. <laughs> prep myself. She has no faith <laughs> at all in our intuition. And up to, like, the fireworks popping up, I'm like, okay, maybe it's a girl. But then the boy came and was like... We got what we wanted. We were right the whole time. But this time around, I'm thinking it's a girl and that I'm just set on stone with that. Yeah. I, from the jump, said it was going to be a girl. I have a strong feeling it's a girl. Everything is completely different this time around this pregnancy. So, I mean, like, I am, like, 100% sure it's going to be a girl. Yeah. And 99.8% of people that we know think it's a girl too. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> and then whoever thought it was a boy eventually changed to thinking to it was a girl. girl. Yeah. Jesus. All right. Uh, All right. How am I carrying the baby? So what does that mean? So, okay, I'm gonna Cause that's one of the things I was confused about. I'm like, we're not carrying no baby yet. So it depends on if the baby's low mm -hmm. or if the baby's high. So Sage was low. What do you guys think? And I don't think you're low right now. I think you're like, Baby's just like right there in the middle. I think like, baby's in the middle too, yeah. She's perky. That's what I'll say, she's perky. <laughs> Seiji was like down low, chilling. My, my guy was like just 
all the way down there. She was just sagging, dragging that belly all over the house. But with this baby, she's sitting just right. Yeah, so... So that's going to be high, I guess? Points for high? Yeah. Okay. Well, my, days my circles are ovals. overlapping. They're ovals. <laughs> okay, that one's looking like a bite gun. <laughs> <laughs> Eggplant for the Americans. Alright, so my skin. Okay. Am I glowing? Or have I been breaking out? Do I have acne? You definitely been having a lot of acne. Yes. Not trying to be messed up for nothing, but you've been popping out some left and right pimples here and there. So <laughs> I can definitely say that's the given right there. A lot, a lot of breaking out. Jesus Christ. Uh, body temperature. Am I running cold or am I running hot? Here, you want to feel my feet? So your feet are cold. <laughs> so that would imply it's a boy. But I always say that you're way hotter than me. Like temperature wise, because anytime I go next to Shannon mm -hmm. and like if I try to like cuddle up with her or anything and I put my hand like in her shirt, like on her back or anything, she's like burning hot. I'm just like, what the hell? Yeah, but I feel like I always want to be covered up. So mm -hmm. I think I'm always cold this time. Yeah? I feel like you're cold no matter what. It'll be summertime, bro, and she'd be cold. You have the AC on blast. Yeah, but Points still. Points for cold. Cold, okay. But I, I can't really say that's due to pregnancy. Because you're just always cold. We shall see. Alright, baby's uh, heart rate. So the first ultrasound we went to, we didn't get baby's nope. heart rate, unfortunately. But our second ultrasound, baby's heart rate was very low. Which was normal, but baby was just chilling. So... It's going to be below 140 we got Below then? 140, because yeah. baby's heart rate was 127, mm -hmm. I think. So yes. Below 140. Below 140. That just means my baby girl is just chilling, bro. She just, she just sitting nice right there. I'm telling She's you. So, so confident. Everything is she this, she that. Because like with, so with, with, with Sage, everything was crazy. My boy had like a crazy heartbeat. He doing flips and jumping jacks <laughs> in her belly. He can't stay still. And if you look at him right now, he's the same exact <laughs> way. Like the moment when he wakes up, it's go time. This man got to take a every oh single God. one of his toys yes. lay them out on the floor and don't play with none of them <laughs> man's make no sense at all i'm telling you so i know for a fact this has to be a girl and she has my personality because she's chill as hell in there right now she may be chill right now but we're gonna see no 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 no, no. she she's she, she gonna stay chill uh, okay stop I'm, saying not, I'm not i'm not i'm not trying okay stop saying okay she. okay i'm stop not it. trying to deal with a second baby that's as spicy as her, okay? Because Sage got a crazy, you don't want to test him, I'm telling you. Like when he's home and it's just me and Shannon, this boy got a completely different personality. So I do not want another baby that got her personality to deal with. That's to be discussed in the next video. Yeah. When we find out what baby is. All right. Um, my craving, salty or sweet? Definitely sweet. Mm -hmm. I want my cookies, give me my Coca-Cola. What else is there? I've been uh, craving donuts. Oh yeah. So much. So it was like a thing for the first trimester where like almost every day I would have to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get the strawberry sprinkled donuts for her. Um, I kind of been cutting her back off for a while now, but I just started getting her donuts again because it's been some time since I got some. But we got that test coming up in the future that glucose is it glucose test oh yeah that's it. yeah so i've been trying to wean her out for some of that sweetness because we ain't trying to feel that test we didn't last time did we no, no. we didn't fail yeah so okay. we're not trying to feel it the second time around i gained so much weight my last pregnancy my OBGYN was like so confident that that glucose test would have came back positive yep. like oh my goodness and the worst part about it she gained all that weight and i gained it with her <laughs> but at least she was able to give birth to that weight yes. your boy held on to that weight for dear life and i'm on my second pregnancy now yes so but those cravings stay tuned for a video you don't want to miss that morning sickness Ooh, let's talk about morning sickness shall we let's talk about all day sickness more like it yeah all day sickness i was so last pregnancy i knew that i was nauseous but that's because i didn't eat on time yeah but this time i was so sick where i couldn't keep nothing down i couldn't even talk without wanting to gag i couldn't even smell food look at nope. food taste food 
nothing. And it didn't matter what we were eating, every single thing made her nauseous. Mm -hmm. Everything. So it's like every single second she's taking a bite, she's like gagging. I'm just like sitting in the corner trying not to throw up my own food. And I'm here and it was like barfing over here on the other side of the salt place. I'm telling you, shit was, it was dark times, bro. It was, it was dark. dark times. A dark three months. Yeah, yeah. It was struggle to eat in this house. <laughs> So, but morning sickness, definitely. Definitely, yes. yes. Okay. Huh, girl Jesus. looks like she's going. <laughs> All right. Uh, dad's weight. Have you gained or have you stayed okay. the same? I feel like I, I'm always gaining weight, unfortunately. <laughs> So that's the thing though, I'd be losing weight and then I always go back to the same exact weight I never really go past it, but it's been a hot minute. So I think I definitely gained a few pounds. Okay, so I'm gained. Yeah I Definitely got to start working back out harder again All right, uh, swollen legs or ankles? so I don't think you have swollen like your first pregnancy with Sage. Shannon definitely had a lot of swollen ankles and you had puffy so that's why I gave her the nickname Puffy because her ankles and her feet were just completely blown up and you couldn't even fit into some of your shoes. Yeah. We had to wear the, the, the slippers that you were wearing at the time. But this time around, I don't think you actually really have either. You've been saying that your feet's been getting kind of swollen lately. Mm -hmm. But that's about it, but I don't see it yet. So, so no? I, yeah, I What's definitely say no. You're not having anything swollen yet. Because okay. it would say she was like blown up. Mm -hmm. So Clumsiness. Am I a clumsy clown or no? Where's clumsiness? Oh, okay, so we're not even gonna argue with that, bro. Like, <laughs> and I don't even think this is due to pregnancy. From the day Damn. I met you, from the day I met you, <laughs> non-stop so you know everybody knows the meme right that goes like it says nobody and then under it, it shows what you're talking about every single day i'm saying that like three or four times to her making that meme because she cannot eat a single plate of food without dropping her fork her spoon or some part of her food all over the floor she'd be walking into doors <laughs> i do not walk into doors when we put sage to sleep just the other night we she, were, because I was blowing him kisses and he was blowing it back to me. Okay. I thought you opened the door. It's your fault. It's not my fault. She opened the door as a, like a crack and she was expecting me to fully open the door for whatever reason. So she opened the door for a crack. She's saying goodnight to say she turns around and walks right into the door. <laughs> That's not on me. And I'm saying goodnight to my son too, you know. The most saddest part is our son knows how to laugh at the most craziest stupidest things now so he will laugh at me because he sees his dad laughing at me all the time <sighs> My so the love. definitely clumsiness okay. pregnancy or not <laughs> uh headaches definitely yeah. yes i've you're you're prone to headaches so that's the thing yeah, but and it's not because of me <clears throat> no matter what you guys think definitely because of me. but so. i've been having a lot of headaches yes the last couple days too and I've been getting a lot of headaches too for like the past couple of weeks as well. So that is never fun to deal with. I normally don't get headaches. So I don't know if it's because of her, <laughs> because of Sage, or because of the pregnancy. <laughs> but something's got to go at this point. Okay, my mood. Am I happy or am I moody? Okay, you're definitely moody. Hands down you're moody. But that's just your personality. <gasps> I've been saying this for years how Shannon's a moody person. Like one minute she will be happy. And like you think everything's all sunshine and rainbows, Whoa, and you're next me minute, seem like I'm bipolar. Listen, I didn't diagnose you, okay? But you should see a doctor at some point or another. Okay, shit's crazy. You never know what side of her you're gonna get at any moment of the day. That's not true. Okay, heartburn. Uh, I haven't had no heartburn, so no. Okay. Wait for boy. Yeah, I feel like I got heartburn a few times, but that's just my own personal issues. Yes, you have issues yourself. Uh, baby bump shape. So is my shape narrow and pointy or is it wide? So I'll send up for you to see. I think you're more wide. Am I pointy, narrow, pointy? Or is it wide? I want to say you're pointy. Yeah. 
would say you're very pointy and I feel like you're pointy again but I don't know if that's because of your baby or just because of your belly in general because mm -hmm. your second pregnancy run and you're still pointy in my opinion okay so point for a boy yep narrow and pointy jeez it's not even a circle no more all right the whole hot dog right there so let's see how many points each gender has one, two, three, four, five. So six for boys. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for girls. Eight. All right. Okay, so let's. Do. Old Wives Tales thinks that we are having a girl. Just like we think. So that's let not us, surprising. Yes. Let us know if you guys believe in these old wives tales. I personally don't. And mm -hmm. I tell Shannon all the time, like she'd be coming at me with some back home type <laughs> stuff saying, you know, you got to do this and that to figure out the gender. I'm like, bro, you, you hear how crazy you sound right now? There is so much more like a pea color. Um, I think you put baking soda in the pea color and if it fizzes or something like that. Bro, you put anything in baking soda, it'll fizz. And what are you there, talking about? <laughs> Another one where if you bite a raw garlic and you don't taste it, you're having a girl. No, that just means you have issues. <laughs> <laughs> and you should get checked out if you're not tasting raw garlic. <laughs> but this was super fun and I think we have points for girl. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see tomorrow. This just out. backs up exactly what we're thinking right here. Yes, so. fingers crossed. Alright guys, so that is the old wives tale and everything's pointing to us having a girl so I am hyped about that. That's basically it right there. I am sticking to my guns and saying we're getting a girl. You're sticking to it I that we're having it. a girl. I feel it in my guts. I'm And the I'm universe is it. saying that we're having a girl. Yeah, so. let us know what you guys think. Are we having a boy or are we having a girl? We, we should have been placing some bets on this. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the video. Let us know what you guys think. Smash that thumbs up and subscribe button. Hit that post notification. Do all that you guys got to do. And as always, stay true. Stay humble.